here I am in uh, actually Blender um, 2.83. Is that right? Yeah. Uh, I do have a new PC and uh, I am using Camtasia Studio 2020 to uh, do my video capturing here. And uh, as you may know, I've been having some troubles, but uh, for the moment, I think we got it working. I hope we do. And uh, we're going to carry on. I'm going to do a sort of a mini video here. I want to do uh, one piece, which is um, sort of a handle like structure that would go on here uh, as a sort of a test of the of the PC and uh, of Camtasia. Camtasia is not playing well with Blender, but I've got to work around it, so uh, we're going to go give it a try anyhow. All right, so um, what I'm going to do here, I think, I'm going to leave all that there, and um, I am going to, let's see, let's just, um, let's take everything and uh, Shift H, well, let's see, okay. Uh, can I not take everything and hide it? No. Hmm. H, I guess. Hide everything like that. And bring the 3D cursor right back there. I'm going to bring in a UV sphere. And I'm going to make this 16 and 8. And uh, I'll just keep working on it like that. Let's go back to just our usual for now okay so from the front I'm going to go into edit mode and uh, wireframe and press 1 for vertex selection I'm going to box select the bottom here and delete them select it all and scale in the Z quite a bit I want this a little bit rounded let's bring that down and then I'm going to select that ring here I'll go back into solid view for now E and I'm just going to bring it down make it a bit straighter there I'm going to select that vertex there and delete. And then I'm going to come in here and let me think what I want to do. I think I'm going to scale back out and come up E. Um, yeah, like that E and S. Come in here and I'm going to make a little post that comes up, which probably won't even be visible. All right, now I'm going to grab this edge and Control B. And just go like this. And that's all I'm going to do to that. Control 2, shade smooth, and we'll have that structure. Okay. Now, Shift Alt and click that uh, ring there, and sh uh, Shift S, cursor is selected. Bring my 3D cursor there. I'm going to bring in another UV sphere. All right. I'm going to use the same uh, parameters there. Bring this one up. And this one I am going to rotate, so I'm going to go into side view here, number three, and I'm going to RX90. And it's going to go like that. Make it a bit smaller. And you're going to fit on there. Okay. Back into vertex selection, I'm going to grab that vertex and delete it. And I'm going to make a little area here, scale it in, E, and bring it out. I'll put a bolt on, on the end there. So bring it out a little bit. Uh, scale it in, and then I'm going to close it up with grid fill. And I can work on this end and change it if I want. I'm just select that edge and bevel and control B, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to have that. And then um, I'll do another little post coming out. So I'll grab these vertices, E and S, come in, E, and we'll come out like that. Control 2, shade smooth. I'm going to select those vertices, Shift S, cursor to select it. I'm going to bring in another UV sphere now. I'll do it as a separate piece. Same same parameters again, but I'm going to scale this one down. I'm going to rotate this, rotate Y, 90 now. Okay. 
select that back vertex. Well, I think uh, I'm going to change my clipping here. Well, actually, I'm okay there. That's what I want right there. That's fine. I'll delete that vertex. Select this whole ring here. Ian has just doing the same thing. I'll come out a little bit. And we'll just close it up. Bevel this. Okay, now um, what I think I'll do, let's look from the side. Let's look from the front. Other front there. I think I'm gonna grab the, all of this. I'll show you what I mean. I think I can take that shift D and copy it out here and break it out. So I have that. And um, let's try this. Let me just think here for a second. Bring this back. Scale it in like that. Take the whole thing. Okay, I want this um, someone out in front, maybe like that. So I think I will take these, push them back in on a scale even more along that line. Get away with one subdivision on that. I might. I'm going to take all of that. Okay, I'm going to make a little bolt on here, nut actually, select that, shift S, cursor selected, actually, I got something else selected there, cursor selected, bring my 3D cursor there, shift A, mesh, uh, I can do circle, let's go for circle, I'm going to go for six vertices there, and I'm going to scale it down, Press the period key to zoom in. Let's rotate X90. So it's going to fit sort of on there. Okay. So let's go ahead and E to extrude. And do something like this. Take it back a bit. Let's close up each side. Uh, let's switch over to uh, individual origins. And then I can go E and S. And they'll both scale nicely. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to scale more. Actually, maybe I'll go to there. Um, let's do that. And then this end is pretty much close. So let's just grab that and hit F to make a face. Select all these edges here. And I'm going to bevel. Control B. And I pull like this. I'm going to put one segment in between like that and then I'm going to grab that edge holding shift and alt and I'm going to double that as well I probably don't need a segment in there and then I can go control I could try control one it's a little soft that's all right though um let's uh shift alt and click there and right click and I've got loop tools installed it's just a free add-on uh, I'm going to convert that to circle and I'm going to hit E and S. I'm going to actually just scale in a bit before I come out. E, come out like this. 
and then I think I'll delete that face and then grab that e and s come in and then grid fill so let's grab just these then and let's scale these in the y e let's scale shift y and see if it comes out okay yeah, okay i don't know what that was all about but um there we got a little bolt on there at the end and maybe i'll do one more and then i'll bevel and i'll just push it out to there sharpen it up a bit make sure we save and then the only other thing would be to take uh maybe um what's nice and straight one of these shifty Let's make sure that it's in the handle. I think it was, but maybe not. Okay, what are you doing? Let's see how well I can place these here. Let's switch to um, normal. And then I make sure I'm in median point. Let me switch back. Let's see. Let's set the origin of geometry on this. And 3D cursor there. Let's take this and set its origin to the 3D cursor. And let's see if we can mirror this very nicely. Okay, I like that, I think. So I'm just gonna go ahead and apply that. Make sure they're in. Okay, you look like you're in. Let's save you. And then let's take this and shift D rotate Z90. And I think all you guys look okay. I'm pretty boring, but let's make sure that this is all in the handle. There we go. You know. I might want to keep messing with this actually. This is why you should get these things set up before you do stuff like this. I might do that. Oh, well, you can mess with that as much as you want. I'm not going to mess with it anymore. But cool. All right. That's it.